Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Boop! Is it on? We're on. All right, welcome to another exciting episode of cut the tape i'm your host crazy rick alvarez here in my world famous frame and picture shop on boston road in wilbraham massachusetts yes it's true we are world famous all right so cut the tape i got a few big things in and uh thought i'd open them this one's been sitting in the back for like you know weeks this one I got yesterday and I want to, I, I just, I want to play with him. Cause he's Idwa based, IDW. This is Cacus. I have no idea how to say that name. Cacus, Caucus, Cacus, Casus, Cacus, C-A-C-U-S, Cacus, Chat. no, there's no H. Gakus and Thundercracker. Why don't we start with this guy? Thundercracker is one of my favorite guys. You know, I was going to wait till I had all three Seekers to open them at once, but then I remembered they're all the same figure. So that would just be boring for me and for you, but mostly for me. All right, let's start with. Cacus, thank you, Robert, for the wonderful deal on this. There was no tape to cut. So this is not cut the tape. This is open the box. This is a Planet X figure. I've got quite a few Planet X figures. Uh, I've got all their Dinobots. I got a few of their War Within stuff. I might have a Trypticon. I think that was Planet X. Anyway, here's here's Cacus. Oh, oh no. His little card fell out. I, I like these cards. They're, I mean, they're really like stiff material. They're super high gloss on both sides. Um, and it's got strength, intelligence, speed, endurance, rank, courage, fire blast, skill. But what is that? Okay. This is inspired by Grimlock. Grimlock, the same version of Grimlock that came with the Scavengers. All right, he's got his very G1-esque Grimlock sword, which kind of looks like a spaceship. He's got his G1-esque blade. Unlike other third-party toys, this one won't cut you. We got a whole thing of instructions. Oh, it's just a page of instructions. So from what I understand, this is very G1-esque in its transformation. Mm. A very sterile aroma. Hints of walnut. He's got an excellent weight to it. I mean, this guy is heavy. I appreciate all the little plastic wrappings around the seat. I take my rings off at work because I don't want to bump into a frame or a piece of art and then the ring damages that, which it has. Same thing with this. So he's got a lot of little bits of cellophane wrapped around him. Ooh. 
very nice. Ooh, very tight joints. Get a little little piece fall off. No worries. It's it, it goes on the butt. So here it goes. Scavenger IDW inspired Cacus. Definitely masterpiece scale, but because of the nature of the story and the scale he was drawn in, this giant figure could work with your scavengers that you have at home. Good amount of die cast. I was hoping these paws would be die cast. They are not. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Good ab crunch, torso. Good mobility, hands. He comes with an extra set of hands, red hands, which I'm gonna pop on him, you know, for comic accuracy. And I typically don't transform things on the show, but since this was not a very exciting build or reveal, and since I know how to transform G1 Grimlock, I thought, hey, let's transform Caucus, Cacus. I don't know how to say that name whatsoever. All right, let's see. Maybe the tail comes out this way. I'm gonna put the arms up here. The tail's gonna come out, and then I wanna swing this over. Yep. Yep. Let's see. Let's look at the box for a little bit of guidance. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in the. I'm in the zone. I'm in the right zone. Interesting. Very interesting. How all these panels fold up. Very, very interesting. Actually, before we fold up, let's slide this little piece back in. So a lot of panels here folding up. I think I do remember people saying, oh, the tail is overly complicated. Perhaps, perhaps. But look at all these panels, right? It's a pretty solid leg. That's nice, right? You don't have to buy a third party kit to hide all the emptiness. So we're gonna swing this out. These fold up. These fold in. Crazy. That's that's a lot of. It's meticulous. That's what I would say about this. It is meticulous, and it's panel hiding capabilities. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, that, this panel needs to fold out. Huh. Really? Like went together so well. What am I doing wrong? I mean, in general, not just with this toy. A lot. Huh. And there's actually a panel here on this other leg that should have flipped out, which I didn't flip out. 
There we go. Nope, that flips in. Goodness. That came off. What the what? God damn it, Liz Lemon. So that does go there. I, I, oh my gosh. So forget about the tail being complicated. Getting that leg in is complicated. Goodness. Goodness gracious. Man. All right. I mean, that's without really sitting down, like my hands hurt already. That's how you know you're getting old when you're transforming something and your hands start to hurt. Yep. Getting old. Man. It always seems like, hey, one, piece, one side goes in perfectly smooth. The other side does not go in perfectly smooth. And you wonder why I don't like the transforms things on the show. <laughs> I mean, I think this guy, oh my gosh. What a, what a shit show. I mean, it's cool. I'm struggling with it because it's my first time, right? But it's, it's pretty cool. Looks like there's a LED in here for the lights, for the eyes, which I was just thinking, oh, that would be really cool if there was an LED in there. How to activate it, I do not know. Well, it doesn't seem to be any instructions on if there's an LED in there or not. Oh, I mean, there's a picture of it right there, right? But nowhere on here, I mean, it's not even like it's in Chinese or it just doesn't tell me how to turn on the LED. Hello, computer. I mean, it's cool as hell. Is there a button? There's no switch in there. It's cool. I'm digging it, but it takes some time to master this. It's gonna take some time to master that. I'm not upset. I'm not disappointed. 
I just understand that it's gonna take a little bit of time for me to get that one right. And right now, I'm really not caring. I care for the figure, I think it's a great figure. But, you know, it's a, it's a little complex. Needs, needs a little, you know, needs a little play time. That's what it needs. If you like scavengers, if you like the comics, if you like Masterpiece, Cacus. Cacus could be for you. And again, this is a shit job I did transforming it, but at least the tail seemed to go together well. All right, Thundercracker. I love crackers, also known as saltines. <laughs> Thundercracker, so would it be Lightning Saltine is his shattered glass name? Lightning Saltine. That is the shattered glass name. Now and forever. Yes. All right, so we got a black box. Typical of Masterpiece figures in today's day and age. I don't want to crease the box. Inside the box, we have a more traditional Masterpiece looking box. Thundercracker, Destron Warrior, MP52+. Plus. I have not played with this mold yet. I have Starscream somewhere. I haven't opened it yet. Thundercracker is one of my favorite characters simply because of the comic. I love, I love that look right there. I love how Skywarp shot down Thundercracker. I love how Thundercracker wants to become an author. I love how Thundercracker wrote a play and had human protagonist as the main character. I dig that Marissa Fairborn has a little crush on him. You know, not that they could ever be together. You know, one's a robot, the other's a human. Plus, you know, scale. How would that even work, you know? Comes nicely packaged in vehicle mode. Ooh, very light. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but very light. You got some plastic bits in here to protect it from scratching in the plastic during shipping. Tampos, not stickers. Okay. I mean, very, very cartoon accurate. We got blast effects, which have been very popular the last couple years. We got, we got this effect and hey, okay, he's shooting like in the first episode effect. And we got some thruster effects. We got three alternate faces. We got his arm cannons here. And as cool as this is, and yeah, Masterpiece has been gearing towards um, cartoon style representation, cartoon accurate representations. I think it would be cool to have a cartoon or a, a toy colored Thundercracker and heck, even a comic inspired. I would love to have a bunch of comic inspired. Yeah, that's one thing we never did is a comic inspired deco line. Now we talked about doing different artists, doing different, uh, packaging art for the Chug series at the time, the classic series at the time. Uh, but it never came to fruition. 
with that being said, I'm gonna cut this episode a little short. Oh, big, big, nice thing because I'm at my shop. My shop's open. And well, someone's coming in. Look at this. Look at this giant. Look at this giant thing. Anyway, someone's coming in. Thank you for watching Cut the Tape. Nope, she's not coming in. Okay, bye. We'll continue. So this little piece plugs in here. And then, see this is the, this is the innovation part to me because. Oh, maybe she changed her mind. Nope, she's not coming in. Not that I don't want her to come in. There we go. So you can even put this on the wall and have Thundercracker flying. But plugs in like that. Very cool. You can adjust it. Very cool. All right. Instructions. You all know what Thundercracker looks like in robot mode. Anyway, that's it. That's it. That's it for today. That's it. That's all I'm doing. I wasn't even going to do an episode today. I just wanted to play with Cacus. <laughs> all right, listen. For real, though, I want to talk to you guys. Get vaccinated, get your kids vaxxed, because if you get sick, you won't get as sick if you have the vaccine, right? Think about all the other vaccines you take. Tetanus, right? Shingles, right? No, you don't want to pop in there, do you? You want to be difficult. You want to be difficult, huh? Take the vaccine, do yourself a favor, do society a favor so we can get through this, so we can get back to having a more normal life. All right, wash your hands, register a vote, and always find time to cut the tape, even if you have to do it at the start of the day before it starts to get busy. Framingpictureshop.com, I do mail orders. See you later. Bye. I can't reach. Uh, the